I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to the world of Mahjong, this is a great style to start with. It's also great if you're wanting to teach kids how to play. It's really the simplest one to learn. It's much like Remy, where you need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. If you want to learn how to play Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on anything. Let's play Solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. They're all back here behind these risers. So I am going to say that this is the East round. This game is played in rounds, one for each seat wind. So we have one for east, south, west, and north. This is going to be east round. And then also, I'm going to say that we need a two fawn minimum. A fawn is kind of like a score or a scoring element. Three, two, one. I am going to say this is east round since this game is played in rounds where each player gets to be the dealer for each round, we'll say this is East Round. If you wanna know more about how all that works, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. For the dealer, which is gonna be the table level, I'm gonna get 14 random tiles and then these three players will get 13 tiles. Okay, everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. They have one flower. It's a four flower. They're seat one, so that's not going to help them, but we could at least get a replacement. So let's see what we can do with their situation here. All right, so for this player, they have a flower, but it's not theirs. This is a four flower, their seat one. So they have to come up with two fawn. All chow, which is all three, three in a sequence, like for example, a seven, eight, nine, we need an eight crack in here. In mixed suits, all chow, that would be one fawn. The only way for them to get another fawn would be to get their own flower, but there are only two. I don't think that that would be a, a good plan though. They are set up for all chows though. I guess we could let them play all chow hoping for their seat flower. Let's see what South has. They have a three, there's a two and a four. So they have their own flower. That's a fawn right there by itself. So we'll put those flowers out and get three replacements. So they only need to come up with one more fawn. So let's see what we can do for them. So I think we should try to get them to a half flush. Look at all those dots that they have. They even have chow potential here with a one, two, chow potential here, five, six, and then they have a pair of nine dots. They need to pair up these honors. We can get rid of these three tiles here, the offsuit tiles, and have them play a half flush, which is actually three fawn. So they have their own flower and a potential half flush hand. So let's see now what we can do for West. They have honors too, but they're all singles, all singles there. Now they do have two pair here in BAMs. I think we should have them play either all pung or half flesh. 
with the BAMs. So let's see, here's a pair of twos and a pair of sevens. Let's see what we can do for them. Half flush or all pung? And let's see what North has. North has three flowers, but none of them are theirs. And now East has no potential for their own flower. You have to be able to play as if you don't know what is in the other player's hands. But in this case, we're exposing these right now. So East will be able to see that both of their flowers are out and unavailable to them. So we're going to expose those for North and take three replacements for them. So East has to play a half flush because they cannot play all chow. They won't be able to win. That's only a one fawn hand. They have to go for half flush. Okay, so let's go back up here to, to North and see what they have to work with. They have a mixed hand here and they do not have their own flower either. So they're kind of in the same predicament as East where they have a setup here for all chows, but they don't have their own flower. And all the flowers that they have are not theirs. So they don't get that no flower score. So uh, we'll see what happens there. They may have to go for a half flush as well, unless they get their own flower. Uh, note because East has a four and South has a four. So they will not get their own flower. There's no, no way. So they have to play a half flush or maybe they could go for their seat wind or a pung of dragons. So let's go ahead and discard for East. Let's throw a seven crack. We need to maybe get them to all bams and honors. We'll throw a seven crack and draw for South. They drew a one bam. South has their own flower. So if we get them to play uh, all chow hand, that would be okay because they have a flower already of their own. So let's throw a two crack for them. Nobody can take a two crack. So we're gonna draw for West. West drew a North. Let's discard a six dot and draw for North because nobody can take that six dot. So we're drawing for North. They drew a five bam. So now they have four of each suit. That's not good because they need to play a half flush or a pung of uh, potentially, yeah, they, they really have to go for a half flush. So let's look at the uh, chow potential. We have a five, six, a one, three, Here's a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, eight. I think the dots are a good one to get rid of because there's only one chow potential here with either the one, two or the two, three. These all have chow potential depending on what they draw and what gets exposed. So we'll see what happens, but let's go ahead and discard the eight dot, get rid of the dots and we'll draw four. East. East is trying for BAMs. So we'll draw. They got a three crack. That's a discard. And we can draw for South. Now you might say, well, why doesn't West take that one, two, three? They can't. You cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. I'm sorry. Yes, that's correct. The player on your left. Okay, here we go. Wait. Yes, that's correct. The player on your left. So we're going to draw. They got a one dot, which is good because they can get a, a fawn out of that. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. So this is a white dragon. We're trying to get them to a half flush. Let's discard the six crack. Nobody can take a six crack. So we're going to draw for west. Four dot. That's a discard. Nobody can take a four dot. So we'll draw for north. They got a two flower. We'll put that out. Two flower and we'll get a replacement. Seven crack. Okay, so now they have mostly cracks. They do have a chow here. 
or we could break that up and make this a potential chow and this a potential pung, or it could be even a potential chow here. Let's go ahead and keep getting rid of these dots, one dot, and then we'll draw four east. They drew a five, bam, that's a good tile for them. Let's get rid of the nine crack. Nobody can take a nine crack, so we'll draw for south. Ooh, they got a south, that's nice. Let's get rid of the one bam. Nobody can take a one bam, so we'll draw four west. Oh, they got a nine bam, that's nice. Now they have three potential pungs here. See all those pairs? Those are potential pungs. Let's get rid of the eight crack for them. The eight crack for north, we can chow. Seven, eight, nine right here, seven, eight, nine for north. So north is gonna chow. So they're committing now to cracks. They gotta get rid of all these. Two dot, we're gonna discard a two dot. And now we're gonna draw four east. East is playing bams. You'd think, well, why not take it here? They can't mix chows or it'll drive their score down. If you mix suits with chows, you're gonna drive your score down to potentially zero or one. And remember, there's a two fawn minimum, so we cannot take that. We're gonna draw four dot. Okay, that that is not helpful. Although it is a pair, if they get more pairs, they could maybe play all pung. Let's go ahead and get rid of the three dot. So we'll throw a three dot and we'll, it's now, uh, South's turn. They have a one, two, let's chow. Let's see, did I just throw a three dot? I believe I did, three dot. So we're gonna discard that and we'll, uh, or expose that and we'll uh, throw the two bam. And now it is West's turn, we're gonna pung it. Pung here with the two bam. So we'll put this in the lower left and let's go ahead and discard the one crack. Nobody can take a one crack, so we're gonna draw for north. Two dot, that is a discard. We need cracks up here, so let's throw the two dot. Nobody can take a two dot, so we're gonna draw for east. Two crack, that is a discard. And we're gonna draw for south. They got a seven crack, that's a discard. We're going to check for exposures. Nobody can take that for an exposure, so we're gonna draw for west. That's a seven dot. Let's just get rid of this two crack and draw for north. Four bam. Yeah, they're going for cracks, so that's not gonna be helpful. Let's get rid of the four dot though, and we can draw for, oh wait, Let's put that back. So at this point, here's a pair, but we have all this chow potential. There's a potential pung, chow, chow potential here. I think I'm gonna wait on it and draw. I'd rather go for a um, half flush or a full flush if we can get more bams. There's a west, that can help with a half flush. Let's go ahead and get rid of the six dot and we'll draw four south. Three dot, here's a potential chow, three five, or five six, here's a pair of nines, a pair of white. So we maybe could get rid of something here. This is south and it's east round, so let's hold both of those and discard the north. North, nobody can take a north, so we're gonna draw four west. Oh, they got an eight bam, that's nice. Now they're in all bams. They could even break these up into potential chows. So here's a seven, eight, nine, seven, nine. So they could either go for pungs or chows. Let's throw the seven dot. Nobody can take that, so we're gonna draw for north. Okay, they got a green dragon, that's good. We need to get rid of all these bams because they're committed to cracks. We're gonna throw a one bam. Nobody can take that, so we're gonna draw for east. They got a one bam, that's a good tile for them because we need to get them to bams. We're gonna throw a seven dot. 
and now we could actually chow that for south. So there's a five, six, seven for south. Let's go ahead and throw the three dot. Actually, let's, cause we need to plan a pair tile for them. We could pung here, pung here. We need to get set with a pair. So it's always good, I think, to set yourself up to not be waiting on an honor tile for your pair. So let's go ahead and get rid of the red. Red dragon, and nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw four west. Five crack, that's a discard. Five crack, and here we are gonna draw four north. Now north has a five, six, seven. We just threw a five crack. We could technically chow that, but they already have a chow with a five. I mean, that could end up being a pair tile for them. Although if we draw, maybe we could draw into another pair in the honors. Let's draw. Let's just hold off on that. Oh, that didn't work. Eight bam, discard. Okay, now we're down to east and east can pung that. So we're going to take that eight bam and pung it for east. And then we'll discard the eight dot. And we'll draw four south because nobody can take the eight dot. We got a two crack. That is a discard. Nobody can take a two crack. So we'll draw for west. Oh, they got a keeper. Oh, look. And it's that seven, eight. They have two chows in here now. Seven. No, I thought it was. They have a pung. Seven, eight or sevens. And then there's a nine. If Oh, and then that eight. East has a pung of eights. For them to use that, really, they could make a chow here, maybe pung the seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of the nine or the north because one was already thrown. Let's just see what happens. We could always pung the nine and throw the eight. Let's go ahead and draw four north. Okay, five crack. That's a good tile. That could be their pair. Let's throw the three bam. <coughs> East can chow that right here. One, two, three. One, two, three, chow. So now they have a pung of eights and a chow, all in bams. And we're gonna go ahead and discard this four dot, sacrificing this pair to get them to a half flush. So there's a four dot, nobody can take that. So we'll draw four south. They drew a north, there's already two out. Might as well throw it. And let's draw four west. Oh, they got a green dragon. That is very nice, because they can pung that, maybe. Let's throw the south. Nobody can take a south, so we're, so we're gonna draw for north. Oh, they got an east, that's a good tile. Let's get rid of these offsuit tiles. Four bam, and then we can draw four east. They already have a four, five, six. If we were to take that four bam for a chow, let's see how many four bams are left. I guess we could go ahead and it really doesn't matter at this point. Let's draw and see if we can pair up one of these honors. Nope, six crack. Okay, nobody can take that, so let's draw for south. Three bam, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four west. Four crack, that is a discard. And now it's North's turn. Now for that four crack, we could take that for a four right here, five, six, leaving them with a potential chow here. They have two discards plus a bunch of isolated honors up there. I think I would rather have them wait because they could always pung that five crack. There are none out. And then that would leave this a two-sided weight. Let's draw for them and not take that four. Three dot, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four east. Three crack, that is a discard. We're gonna draw for south. Five dot, that's a potential keeper because they could chow that and let's go ahead and discard the south. Nobody can take a south, so we're gonna draw for west. One crack, that's a discard. 
drawing for north. Six bam. Let's discard the five bam. And then down here, same thing. They already have a chow here. They could potentially take it, but that would leave them with isolated tiles. We might as well draw. They got a one crack, discard. Drawing for south. They got a west. Okay, now there are no wests out. So they're in between. Since it's the wind of the round is east, let's hold on to that and discard the west. Nobody can take the west, so we're going to draw for west. They drew a west. It was just discarded. Let's draw for north. Oh, they finally got a four crack. Okay, now they have a four, five, six here and a five, seven. They may need an inside tile there. Let's get rid of the six bam. And nobody can take the six bam. I mean, technically this player could, but that would leave an isolated tile. I think they're better off drawing. They got a green. Let's go ahead and get rid of that four dot. Let's chow for south. Three, five. So we're going to chow. So they now have three chows right here. Three chows in their own flower. So here they have a one, two, three, five, six, seven, and a three, four, five. So they're ready. We're going to discard an east for them, and they are ready on either a nine dot or a white dragon. So we're going to discard the east. Nobody can take an east. We are going to draw for west. Three crack. That is a discard. Now, south or north can chow that. Three crack. And that will leave them with a five, six, seven. So that was a good chow tile for, for north. So now they have a seven, eight, nine chow and a three, four, five chow. And they need to pair up these tiles. Let's throw the six bam. And we're going to draw four east. Oh, they got a three bam. That's a good tile because now they have two potential chows here. Three, four, five, six, nine. So we need to discard. There's two wests out. Let's throw the west. And we'll draw four south. They got an eight crack. That's a discard. Let's draw four west. Four bam. That really is pretty far away from any of these number tiles, so that's not going to help them. But we still need to plan pair tiles for them. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these scary tiles. Let's throw the red. Nobody can take a red, so we're going to draw for north. They drew an east. That's a good pair tile. Potential punk too. Since the red was thrown, let's discard that. Nobody wanted the red. So let's draw for east. They got a seven bam. That's a good tile for them. Here's a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's throw the red. And we're going to draw for south. Eight dot. They're ready on either a nine dot or a white. Let's go ahead and throw the eight dot. Nobody can take that. So let's go ahead and draw for west. One crack. That's a discard. And we're going to draw for north. Oh, they got a pung of east. That's nice. So they have a five, six, seven. There's a pung of east. They again have a chow in the three, four, five crack. They have a chow in a seven, eight, nine crack. So let's go ahead. Let's see. I think the south is out. Let's go ahead and throw the south. This is why I don't like to be waiting on an honor because they're locked up. We'll see what happens. So we just threw the south. Let's draw for east. Seven dot. That's a discard. Seven dot. We're drawing for south. Eight dot. <laughs> we just threw that. Eight dot. Okay, drawing for west. One dot. That is a discard. We're going to draw four north. Three dot. That's a discard. Drawing four east. Six dot. That's a discard. Drawing four south. They drew a north. That is a discard. I think those are out now. Pretty much all of them, I think. 
let's draw for north now. Two dot, that's a discard, drawing for east. Okay, they got a four bam. So here we have now three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight. Let's throw the green. They're ready, they're close to being ready on an all one suit hand, all one suit. We're gonna throw the green, green dragon. And that is Mahjong for North. So I'm just gonna put this indicator up here to indicate that North won because that green dragon is their pair right there. So they have cracks and honors. So they ended up with a half flesh. They have chow, 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 pung, pear. But they also have some flowers here. However, none of their flowers count. There's no four flower in there. So that's not gonna be helpful for them. But they still ended up with a three fawn hand with a half flesh plus a fawn for their east, which is the wind of the round. East was the wind of the round. So they ended up with a four fawn hand. This player was one away from being ready on a all one suit option here. All one suit, that would have been a sweet hand. That's six fawn. So they really took a risk in getting rid of that green. This player south, they were playing a half flush. They had three chows out in dots. They just needed one more tile, but it was locked up right there. And then this player was actually fairly close. They needed to pung here, pung here, and get a pair. So they had a bit of work to do yet. So south one, pretty nice hand there. If you would have done something different for any of those hands, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click that bell too so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.